Hello and welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today I want to compare dollar cost averaging Cardano versus investing a lump sum. Because these are two different approaches generally in investing. And before I want to start, I please bear in mind this is not financial advice. This is only my own opinion. And before you do any investment or carry out any investment decisions, please always do your own research. You're fully responsible for your own research. All I do here is sharing my own opinion, my own knowledge, and what I do personally when investing in this fantastic cryptocurrency, Cardano. I started to invest at some point in 2020 in Cardano more heavily. I had started earlier, but only, you know, invested a little bit. Um, but really heavily, I started to invest just in the beginning of 2020. And I kept buying monthly amounts of ADA at set amounts so pretty much every month i invest a this pretty much the same amount of money sometimes a little bit more um, sometimes a little bit less but generally a very very similar amount of money i invest every month in cardano and i've been doing that since the beginning of january 2020 which means i have been dos, uh, color uh, sorry <laughs> dollar cost averaging cardano what does that mean so just assuming I invest $200 of, uh, yeah, $200 into Cardano every month, the, do the average price that I get is always different. So, for example, in January um, 2020, we had a price of around, yeah, three to four cents. Then in the next month, we had a price of around seven cents, right? So, the average price would be sort of in between three or four and seven cents yeah and but then if i buy the next month as well in march at again at three cents that would lower my overall average price let's have a look at april 2020 where the price was yeah pretty much three and a half cents um then in may it was five cents so that you can see that the average price pretty much stayed on the same level until probably yeah i would say July 2020 when the price increased to 13 cents. I mean, these are fantastic prices from today's point of view, but um, that massively increased my average price at the time or the average cost um, that I had when buying ADA in August 13 as well. And then it dropped again to nine or eight. And then at some point it increased massively at the beginning of this year to 30 cents and it went up to the roof pretty much you know not quite to the moon yet but um yeah it went up considerably and i prefer the approach of dollar cost averaging because it's more a psychological one i think there are certain market conditions under which investing a lump sum works but then there are other market conditions when in dollar cost averaging wins and However, I think it is more a psychological decision that everyone needs to carry out for themselves. For me personally, dollar cost averaging works because, you know, if I make the conscious decision that I invest every month a set amount of money in Cardano, I will not be worried when the price goes down, right? That always, you know, many, many years in the past, I lost some money in the, um, in the stock market and that was because I invested a lump, lump sum. And then the prices dropped. I was getting nervous, you know, and then in the end I sold what you should never do, but I sold with um, uh, and made a loss. So when doing cost averaging, you are actually or you can be actually quite happy when the price goes down, because that means you constantly add to your portfolio. And when the price drops, you actually add um, to your portfolio with a lower price. So it's actually not a great thing if you see that. And then you cost, your, your dollar cost averaging, you believe in a project, you're buying and buying and buying, and the price goes up like that. And like, you know, half a year ago, you paid like 10 cents, and then you suddenly have to pay $1.25 or 25 for one ADA. So that means your price, your average price goes up dramatically. It's actually good then when the price drops again, like here it did in, um, in July again, yeah, July 2021 now where the price dropped, you know, from the all time high roughly to 45 for what we had. And then it dropped to again to um, pretty much a dollar was I think the, the most recent low. And this is actually a good thing, good thing when you cost when your dollar cost averaging, because then you can buy again 
for a lower price. So when I, let's just assume $200 or $500 every month, of course, then when the price drops for $500 and if I buy at $1 for ADA, um, I get 500 ADA for $500. But of course, if it is like 245, I only get, yeah, pretty much uh, far, far less. So that makes a great, great difference. And the problem is um, with investing a lump sum from my personal point of view, yes, of course, you could now wait for the next bear market and say you save some money, fiat currency on your account. You wait for the next bear market and uh, maybe you save every month and you put that onto your um, basically your currency account or your savings account. You save $5,000 or more or less, whatever, and you wait for the next bear market, which in my opinion will start next year in January, you know, roughly. You, you can never say for sure, but that's my personal prediction. Looking at everything, you know, taking everything in account that I know, I believe that will be the beginning of the next bear market, also especially for altcoins. And then you could obviously wait for the bear markets to invest your lump sum. But the big problem is, when is the low of the bear market? So just looking at the last bear market here, let's just have a closer look. So the most, you know, the all time high back then, I think it's a bit hard to see here on coin market cap, but um, looking at the old all time high and then you, you say, okay, we're now at an all time high. I'll wait for the bear market with investing. And maybe you decided then, but when do you invest then? You know, when do you invest your lump sum? Is it here, you know, is it at 62 cents or is your lump sum here at 37 or do you invest at 15 cents, right? But even from 15 cents, which looked like a good price back then, but then it, it took, you know, a long, long time to get back to these levels even, you know, because the price dropped to just something like four cents, three cents. Um, so with investing a lump sum, I think it's more of a psychological issue because you can never say for sure when you, when you, I mean, in an ideal world, you would invest your um, lump sum at the lowest price. But when is the lowest price? You will never know when the lowest price was. I mean, even here, you know, when we had like two cents, it could have even dropped to one cent, you know. So it, it is hard. It is hard to make that decision when you invest the lump sum. Um, because let's just assume we were here on the 10th of April. Yeah, price, something like 15 cents. And you could have invested your lump sum then, but maybe you waited and the price shot up to 30 cents. And then you get FOMO because you missed to invest your lump sum. Then you invest at 30 cents and then it drops again. And that is the psychological issue that you have when you invest a lump sum, I think. That's why I consciously chose to invest, at, or to just invest fixed amounts every month because then I'm not worried when the price goes down because I can buy again. I haven't spent all my money. I can buy again. And if the price goes up, I'm happy as well because I'm in profit, you know, and I have a lower um, average price anyway. So for me, cost averaging wins. And even if you have a lump sum to invest now, what I would always do, I would always still split that lump sum in um, different chunks and then invest maybe every week or every month taking money from that lump sum but I would never invest a huge lump sum together because that always is a psychological issue that I get then personally maybe you're different but personally because you never know when you hit when when is the right time to invest you never know what is the lowest price that you can get you never find the bottom anyway you know that could have been the bottom now one one dollar maybe it will drop again to 50 cents but maybe it will go up to three dollars now and you know, if you miss, if you if you wait for the next bear market, the next bear market could even maybe the you know just assuming the price goes up to maybe this year to five dollars, maybe the next bear market the price won't go down to a dollar anymore. Yeah, maybe in the next bear market the price will stick at two dollars or something. So if you don't invest, if you don't do cost averaging now and you wait for the next bear market, you could miss an opportunity. So you never know. That is my point of view. I personally therefore invest and do cost averaging. Um, that is far safer for me from a psychological point of view. I'm not, you know, I don't feel any pressure then when the price goes down because I know I already have a good average price. And if the price goes up, I'm also not worried because I make profits, you know, so I'm, ha I'm quite happy either way, actually. That is quite good. And But I, I believe to do cost averaging, you need to be a long-term investor anyway. You need to have, you know, you shouldn't really have the aim or objective or goal to sell anything. I think that is personally what I do. I just 
constantly invest and constantly add to my portfolio. And also, I think you need to be convinced about that project. If you're not convinced about the project, then why would you do cost averaging anyway? If you're convinced about the project, you're doing it long term anyway. And I believe if you're investing a lump sum, it might be that you're only looking to make some quick money. But that could go either way. And then you get, um, you know, if you don't invest, you get FOMO. And if you invest and the price goes down, you know, you you feel a bit of selling pressure and maybe you sell because you're worried that it could go down even further. So for me, cost averaging wins. I always cost average Cardano and I've been uh, doing quite well with that, to be honest. All right, so hopefully you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.